is the same color as Thomas and the same size as James. He can pull coaches and push freight cars. And he often works as a... But Edward is old and not as strong as the other engines. So sometimes, Edward feels left out. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford came to visit their new summer house. They came on their own private engine called Spencer. Spencer is big and silver and very fast. When Spencer pulled into Napford, his driver had exciting news for him. Gordon's record, he said. Of course, boasted Spencer. I'm faster and finer than all the engines on Sodor put together. So Topham Hatt's engines were very cross. Sp Spencer's just a big silver show-off, sniffed Gordon, and ev everyone agreed. So Topham Hatt spoke to the engines. Spencer will take the Duke and Duchess to their summer house. Another engine will, will take their furniture. So Topham Hatt's engine saw the chance for a race. Please, sir, said Thomas. Yes, Percy, Gordon, and James all together. May I go? You all have other work to do, boom, Sir Topham Hatt. Edward will take the furniture. James and Gordon groaned. Fancy sending a back engine to do an express engine's job, sniffed Gordon. He'll lose the race and let the whole railway down, said James. Thomas and Percy were cross. Edward was their friend. Spencer has a bigger boiler, said Thomas, but that just means more hot air. An honest steamy can beat a pouty puffer any day, added Percy. Edward set off. Slow and steady. We'll do my best, we'll do my best. Spencer set off and quickly passed it. bottom of a steep hill. The freight was heavy. He felt very tired. He huffed and he puffed and was soon at the top. He could see Spencer in the distance and chased him at once. Edward raced down the hill. Spencer stopped at Wellsworth Station. The Duke and Duchess wanted to buy some tea and cakes from the refreshment lady. Edward teetered into view. Hurry, old boy, asked uh, Spencer. Can't have you finishing tea uh, behind me. Edward wished he could have a rest too, but the station master and the porters had heard about the race. Hooray for Edward, they cheered. Edward picked up steam and puffed past Spencer. Then the Duke and Duchess finished their tea. And Spencer was off that one. He roared past it. Fast as the best, fast as the best. Edward was nearly out of puff. The furniture felt heavier, heavier than ever. Up ahead, Spencer had to stop. The Duke wanted to take some photographs of the countryside. The Duke set up his camera. Spencer closed his eyes. Nothing to worry about, he said lazily. Gordon 
was returning to Brendan Docks. He passed Spencer and knew Edward must be losing the race. Edward is a waste of steam, he said. But when, when Gordon passed Edward and saw how hard he was trying, he felt bad about what he had said. Well done, Edward, he called. You are our credit to the railway. Edward was so happy, his boiler tingled. He found Puffy never knew he had. The Duke and Duchess had finished taking photographs and were back on board. Time to go, said Spencer's driver and rang the bell. Spencer was dreaming of victory. He didn't hear the bell. And he didn't hear Edward puffing past him. Spencer's driver rang the bell again. When Spencer finally opened his eyes, as he could see, Edward heading towards the summer house. Right. Uh -huh. 